Brody here. Welcome to Three Motors Meltdown. Someone's left me a little present. My scrap man. All I have to do is give him a call, tell him I want some interesting bits, and he'll come up with some goodies. That's an old boiler. Looks better than the one I've got installed at home. The three very different motors. Big old iron one on the left. That's a water pump in the middle. And that looks like a more modern one with aluminium. So I'm here in my little micro workshop. I'm going to get the old um, socket out and start dismantling this really heavy thing. First one, not a problem at all. Second one, no problem. This is going to be an easy job then. Except for this one. The nuts themselves are in... Um, Imperial, and my socket sets in metric. So it made it really difficult to um, get a socket to fit properly, and it was just spinning. A couple of old mold grips, that'll do the job. With a little bit of oil, of course. And those mold grips on the left, they are so old that the teeth have worn flat down. I must have had that thing there. Well, since I was a kid, really. I'll have to work on that one outside because I'm going to have to hammer it. Now, this is a nice modern motor. I don't think I'll have many problems with this one. Not only will it have copper inside, but I've also got the aluminium body as well. This is the brushes housing. Should be something inside here worth having. Looks like brass to me. There isn't much here, so I'll just put that aside and wait till I get a bit more. Now these are really weird screw things. They have a narrow head, but I may have something in my specialist draper set that'll work. Hoping that this will. Too small. Probably not the correct tool for the job, but um, it works. Luckily they weren't too tight or seized, otherwise I could have broken the end of the tool off. Now 
it looks like aluminium. It's light. I don't think it's sealed. Uh, It'll get melted with the aluminium anyway. And that's the rotor inside. A little bit of copper in there. Virtually impossible to get to. But what I can do is simply melt it. Melt the whole lot down there. Well, the cat likes the rubbish anyway. Three seconds of fun with a bit of discarded plastic. These nice big windings, I can simply push them through and pull them out the other side. That's the first one. The cat was chasing the wire. He found it fun. Number two. bit of this out because it did actually take quite a long time to do that pile I think I'll try another method on this other side just cut them through and try putting them out in one go a lot quicker as well. It only took a few seconds to cut, to cut these big wires. This is the last one, which I'm presuming is a water pump. There's nothing for me on these. Flexible pipes, it's rubber on the inside. What looks like stainless steel mesh on the outside. I'll leave them out scrappy next time he comes. More plastic to be recycled. Yeah, it's full of water, definitely a water pump. And these are pressed in, so a small screwdriver to start it, and a big screwdriver to lever the pressings out. sound was. I played it a few times. I think it might be a car or something. Weird or the neighbours. And that's stuck in there. So I 
course we'll definitely have to get the angle grinder on it and this is a capacitor but it's full of um, really thick wax and it's absolutely covered my hands they don't look black there but they they really are they're so greasy so a bit of soap and what I use when it comes to grease is a spoon for the sugar It's really effective at um, getting the grease on grime off. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Except under the nails, of course. Here we are on the uh, veg plot. I've done the angle grinding, but I still can't remove this piece of aluminium. Good smack will do it. Easy as that. And what's left with that bit of copper there? I'll just chuck that in the pot, melt the copper bits out. I'm going to try cutting this copper off with my axe. It's quite sharp. it's not the most effective way and um, as you can see it's created quite a mess cut off the ends I use the angle grinder on that really easy but because the last one was such a mess I'm going to use the angle grinder on those um, copper coils make it a lot easier for myself well, this is the one that I hacked with um, the axe what I'm trying to do is just pull the wires out Seems to be coming all right, and it didn't take very long. But next time, I think definitely um, just go straight for the angle grinder. Makes it so much easier. That's the gulls, I live near the beach. simply just use a screwdriver with the end cut off to hammer them out it makes it very easy to do here's a different view up anything that goes into the into the furnace first make sure there's no moisture on it doesn't fit but that'll that'll stick in all right it shouldn't go over the sides 
unlike the last video with the greenhouse which um, coated the bottom of the floor ounces of pure gold when full but today I'm using aluminium I'm using the alley to um, burn all the paint off because I really don't want it to mess up my um, first copper pour It's all the paint being burnt off. I'll just chuck the rest in the um, little mould. Same pour, just a different view. we always have to put it in the bar. so much more than the smaller ones it's stuck it's melted itself to the um, plastic tub 
And yes, I did make a hole in the tub. But luckily, it's really small, so it's still usable. That's my sunflower. Looking absolutely splendid. Self-sown, that one. That's a brand new crucible. Got a little mark at the bottom. A little bit of dust came off. I noticed that after I cooked it in the oven. Hopefully it'll be alright. Load it up with some copper. wasn't any aluminium on that piece. I want to keep my copper as pure as possible. And there you go, one little dribble of molten metal fell off. And that's why I'm wearing the leather jacket and the boots this time. Because copper is so much hotter than aluminium. And this copper wire is just covered in wax. And that instantly sets a light in this red hot crucible. I think half the weight of the um, copper there is wax. That's got a little bit of waxy paper on it as well. And all the little bit. These are the um, long strands from that big old iron motor, also covered in tons of wax. videos please subscribe it really does mean a lot to me now this copper for some reason had a huge amount of um, dross on the top and it was mixed up with um, some good copper as well so what I did I went through the um, went through the dross afterwards when it cooled down I pulled out over a hundred grams of it that's good copper. So I should put that in a separate tub and melt that down at a later date. And here's my first copper pour ever. Still got a little bit of paint burning there.
You can see the copper in that dross there. This is the same pour, different angle. Like pouring liquid gold. of the greenhouse that I had prepared. I've still got over half to go. That's my beautiful copper bar. Just over one and a half kilos. Very nice. That's all the drills. And what was left in the crucible. 150 grams. Thank you for watching.